Going back to our probability distribution, distribution, we had the mean is the sum of the x times the probability of x. Standard deviation is the square root of the x squared times the probability of x minus the mean squared. We had those ugly calculations. And the mean plus and minus two standard deviations gave us our 95% normal range. Now, we're going to do the same thing for a binomial probability. But in a binomial probability, the mean is n times p, and the standard deviation is the square root of n times p times q. So we're going to look at the situation where we have 100 babies born. Probability of a boy is the same as the probability of a girl is 0.5. And we want to find what would be, how many boys would be normal out of 100. So the mean is going to be n times p. n is 100 babies. Probability of a boy is 0.5. I get 50. The mean would be 50 boys. Standard deviation is going to be the square root of n, 100 times P, the probability of a boy, times Q, the probability of not a boy. So that gives me the square root of 25 or 5 as the standard deviation. So using my 95% normal, where the mean plus and minus two standard deviations, in this case, the mean is 50, plus and minus 2, standard deviations is 5. So I'm going to get 50 plus 2 times 5, which is 60. 50 minus 2 times 5, which is 40. Anything in between there would be considered normal. So using these parameters, if I have 100 babies born, anything, anywhere between 40 and 60 boys would be considered normal. If we did a micro sort gender um, situation and we got 79 boys, that would be considered abnormal. And that micro sort uh, situation would probably be considered significant.